Hey guys, my name is Ben. Welcome back to episode 47 of your bucket plugging tutorials, which I'm going to be doing every day until Christmas. <laughs> I say that, but I won't. I won't. Uh, I'm going to change it to like more often. I'm just going to say more often because that works. That well that works. Okay, so today we're doing cooldowns, um, which has been requested a lot. So let's make a new class: package com dot the bc bros dot cool cools down. Uh, the name's gonna be cool downs in here. We're just gonna make this ext oh, extends Java plugin. If I can type. Um, so let's make our on command. Delete all of this. Change this to command label. Uh, return false. So we want to. Uh, make it so if they do a command, they they can't do that command again for say five seconds. Um, I this paper. I got paper from the last tutorial, which I just printed off. Okay, so cooldowns. We want to make an array list to store the players who can or can't do the commands in. So let's make a, a private. Let's make a private list, uh, and in the type arguments we want to put player. Let's call this uh, CD for cooldowns equals a new array list. So A R R A Y list and then in the type arguments we just want to put player hit control shift o double click java.util.list cool so we want to check if the command label uh, equals ignore case uh, to test let's just do test and in the plugin YML we actually need to change some things uh, let's copy this paste that here copy this dot paste change this to test save close f5 f5 so if the command is test we want to you know check if uh, cd dot contains the player which we need to create uh, so we're just going to assume it's a player for the purposes of of testing this uh, you can obviously you know make this nicer i'm just I'm a bit rushed so if the the command or the uh, cooldown contains player we want to check if it doesn't contain the player. So if um, they, let's say, can't or can do command. Uh, so if they, if they if if can't do command. So if if the can't do command contains player. So if the can't do command doesn't contain the player, we want to let them do the command. So it's going to say player dot send message saying done. Uh, and then we want to say um, can't do command dot add player. So we want to add the player to this uh, list thingy, and then we want to uh, you know start a a countdown to to count down to when they're going to stop. So for this, we're going to make a new class. So we should make it down here. We're going to say my phone just went off. Let me check my phone. We're going to do this live, live people, live. Um, okay. That's not important. Okay, so we're gonna make a new class. So to do this, we're gonna make a a public uh, class. We're gonna call this countdown. And it implements runnable. So open that up. Uh, add an implemented method. So we've got public void run, and we want to um, have uh, we want to have a player player up here and we want to have a uh, a list player um, which actually going to copy this uh, but this is going to be public and the same with this this is also going to be public like that uh, and this player is actually going to equal null so we're going to make a few methods we're going to make uh, public void set player. Uh, we're gonna have public void uh, set list. Uh, in the set player, we're gonna have player player. In set list, we're gonna have uh, list list uh, list. Sorry, list uh, player list. Uh, in player, we're gonna say uh, this dot player equals player. Um, in set list, we're going to say can't do command. 
this dot can't do command uh, equals uh, list. So I'm doing it like this because uh, if you if you want to add this into another class, this this is my way of organizing things. Instead of having like a big uh, schedule async task over here, we're just gonna make it you know into another class. So we could put this in another class, but I'm just gonna make this class in the same class. So we're gonna have classception, okay? Um, and what we want here is you want to do try catch so we're going to try something dodgy and if it doesn't work we're just going to catch the exception and we're going to uh, ignore the uh, ignore the exception so we're going to say ignored and we're not going to do anything with it so here we want to do thread dot sleep for 5000 milliseconds yeah 5000 so we're going to try and sleep and then we're going to say can't do command um can't do command dot. I'm trying to player one. I'm just going to say player one and can't do command one. So player one and can't do command one. Just so I don't get it right. So can't do command one dot remove the player. Okay. And then we want to have. Oh, and it needs to be a final player. So public final. Oh no, it doesn't, it doesn't need to be final. Um, it's player one. And we need another method, so public uh, list player get list. And we're going to return can't do command one. Like that. So up here, what we now want to do is we want to make a uh, new um, countdown. Uh, when I say equals something, sorry. So we want uh, countdown d equals new countdown. And then we want to say uh, in our on enable. Oh no, we don't. We want to say uh, d dot set set list as the can't do command. Uh, d dot set player as the the player. And then we want to say d dot uh, start. Oh, sorry. Uh, d dot run. Oh, sorry. Uh, new thread. Uh, uh, d dot start like that. Um, so yeah, that's what that's gonna do. And then after that's done, we want to stop it, which it's gonna do automatically. Uh, so we can add that in by doing uh, new uh, thread this dot stop. Actually, we don't need that. It will stop automatically. Uh, sorry. Yeah. So cool. That's how that works. Uh, we could uh, alternatively just put a get server dot get plugin manager get scheduler uh, dot schedule async delayed task and delay the task by however many seconds or ticks uh, but we're going to do this so it's more organized like this so yeah let us well when I say more organized I mean it gives you a, more of an idea of, of how to make stuff like this so let's export as name me let's just export it as name me uh, and I'll see you guys in the game okay so I forgot to put shaders on which is disappointing I'm stuck. Another one. Up bench three. Up. Up the PC throws. Okay. Um. Game mode one. Game mode one. Get game mode one bench. Just game mode one. Game. Mode. Good. Okay. Um. So. Oh my God. Why have I? This is. Oh, I forgot to. I did something anyway. So if I do slash test, it says done. If I do slash test again, it's not going to say anything because we have to wait five seconds. You can see I can type and stuff, but I can't do slash uh, slash test again until one, two, three, four, five. Did that a bit early. You can see I can do it again. I can uh, I can still type in between, but I can't do slash uh, slash done. So if I if I do slash test, and then if I type, uh, you'll see I can't do slash test until the five seconds is up. So yeah, that's how that works. Thanks for watching guys. Comment what you want me to do in the next thing. I'll see you guys next time.